Hi, this is Paula J. Welcome to another episode of Secure Hacks Weekly. And today I'm with Thomas. Hi, Thomas. How is it going? Fine, thank you. Great. So we've got a very interesting subject for you, and that's going to be about customization of your scanning. So what can we do about it? We can use scripts. Mm -hmm. And map scripting engine okay. uh, gives us a lot of different scripts uh, categorized for different types of services. Like what, for example? Uh, web server, SQL server, etc. Okay. And they are also categorized by mm, different uh, risk that they give, for example, the stability of the service. Mm -hmm. um, just you need to read about them first before you use it. And it gives you uh, plenty of information about how the host you are scanning is really vulnerable or not. So what could be the example? Could we scan, for example, for empty passwords, etc.? Yes, dictionary attacks as well. Okay, awesome. So there are plenty of possibilities. Yeah. So you've got one tool and uh, many types of uh, scripts that you could use. Can you customize them? Of course, they are open, Lua language, so you can write your own script for your own services. Awesome. Okay, so this is exactly what you're going to learn and a couple of words about Thomas. Thomas is our cybersecurity architect, so he's definitely an appropriate person to show you that. Thank you so much and let's dive in. Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about Nmap scripting engine, NSE. Nmap itself is a very interesting tool and can give penetration testers huge amount of information about network and systems connected to it. And map scripting engine is a powerful tool on top of Nmap, which allows us to automate some things that Nmap is doing during scanning. Internally, scripts are divided into four types: pre-roll scripts, host scripts, service scripts, and post-roll scripts. Pre-roll and post-roll scripts run before and after Nmap has scanned all of its targets. Host scripts are executed after uh, Nmap has performed normal operations, such as host discovery, port scanning, version detection. Service scripts are scripts that run against specific services listening on the target hosts. NSE scripts are also categorized. We have categories like discovery, BOS, intrusive, auth, root, and a special category called default, which includes a specially selected scripts which are safe and most commonly used. Let's see how scripts work in our lab. We'll just start from web server. I have here some files that are published using Apache HTTP server. I will also publish them using Python module. Mm, and let's, for start, run a normal version detection scan. Let's hope this will not last long. All right, so we have different services like SSH, DNS, Apache Web Server, also MySQL Server, and our Python module. Let's narrow down our scans only to web services. And use the first script called HTTP enumeration enum http enum this script gives us more information about what's going on on the web server part like what commonly used files are there maybe locations and also we have here something interesting we have different behavior because apache web server gives us server status location and also, 
responded authorization required for support lo location. Let's see. The first one is obvious. This is a feature from Apache Web Server that is uh, that has purpose of giving us some statistical information for for Apache. But the second one, let's see. Yep, it's here. It's getting a pop up for uh, credentials and on. 8000 port, we have director director listing. So this is it. This is actually happening here. And why? Because um, support location has the PHP script inside, and Apache is using PHP interpreter, and this script is actually using authentication. To just gather some credentials and ask for for, um, for credentials. Mm, let's use additional um, interesting script. This script potentially will give us more information on big air sites. Right now we have one HTA file, one PNG, some other file, maybe no extension. So this is not not useful for for us in this particular case. But what about this authorization required here? Can we do something about it using scripts? Of course, we have some brute forcing scripts. And for brute forcing scripts, we will need additional parameter. Mm, parameters are starting with a script name, dot, name of the parameter. And this parameter will be support, a value of support, because only this location asked us for authorization. Any other file was was served without authorization. So we will try to brute force this service. Right now Nmap is trying different combination of username and password. This will take some time. Yeah, success. We have tried over 45,000 combinations and found one working username and password combination. So we successfully brute forced our service. As you can imagine, this is very useful if you want to have, um, if you want to find, for example, default credentials and big network full of different web services mm, okay if you want to find out more information about um, some script you can use script help like this now let's focus on other service we had here MySQL server. What else can we get from this ser uh, MySQL service using only Nmap scripts? MySQL info, just as a starting point. Yeah, we have more information like capabilities of this ser server or also we have some salt maybe useful in cracking another interesting module is enumeration yep 
successfully enumerated different usernames. These are valid usernames without credentials, without um, password. Okay, so this is pretty interesting and hmm, what is super cool about um, Nmap scripting engine and running the scripts uh, using different categories is that you can use a logic between them. For example, if we found out we want to enumerate all the services regarding of service type, so we can just run something like this. This will run every enumeration script against this target and possibly gives us a lot of information in one scan. Exactly. So we have something more about DNS service. We have already discovered HTTP service and MySQL. Let's focus then on SSH. Let's perform something different. Let's find out everything about SSH without intrusive attacks, let's say. It was a very fast scan and we have here host keys. I should also narrow the port number not to try to run the script against uh, different services. What about intrusive? Yeah, again we have something like SSH brute. So right now Nmap is trying to brute force my SSH service using some well-known pretty obvious usernames and passwords. I will kill it. And uh, believe me, that is not all uh, for NSE power, because if you want, you can write your own scripts using Lua language. For starters, I would recommend reading one of the built-in scripts to understand what's going on. For more information how to write NSE scripts, I would recommend this site. Uh, this is Sendmap documentation website. There's a plan of reading here. Mm. Remember that you can find also useful scripts on the internet, but please be aware and double check the contents of the scripts as they can be harmful for your computer. They run on your computer using privileged accounts, so they can uh, do bad things. So as you can see from the quick and simple examples, Nmap is a really powerful tool that every administrator or penetration tester needs in his security arsenal, and NSE simply adds more efficiency to it. Thank you for watching. If you have some questions or need ideas how to use NSE, leave a comment. Stay secure and see you on the next episode of Hacks Weekly.